What's up, y'all? Today is the big day. Happy Thursday. My appointment is at 1.30. Surprisingly, I'm not nervous. Um, I'm just ready to get it over with. I have been putting this off for too long, for probably about four years now. That's when I started noticing the different changes in my teeth. I started vlogging three years ago, so y'all have seen it for three years. Four years ago, finances wasn't the same as it is now. So who knows what I would have been able to, you know, afford or settle with four years ago. You see what I'm saying? Probably wouldn't been able to do it at all. Four years ago, I was on Medicaid. You know, Medicaid don't pay for jack. But anyway, we're here now. I'm able to afford it. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the most part. Cause you know, I can't be sitting up there vlogging while I'm getting my teeth out. So I'm gonna try to be as informative as I can. I mean, this is YouTube, so I know a lot of my subscribers may not be interested in hearing all of this because it don't pertain to them or they can't relate. There's a lot of people out there that's researching videos on this particular subject because they're thinking about getting it or they're getting it like i did i watched tons of videos no as a matter of fact it is a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me that already got y'all's done or thinking about getting y'all's done or want to get y'all's done but can't get it done i appreciate all of y'all comments like i said i knew it was a lot of young people already from you know watching youtube videos but to see my fam comment and say oh i went through the same thing i got dentures or i need dentures myself and da 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 oh. my girl here on youtube she got a youtube channel i'm not gonna mention her name i'm not gonna mention her youtube channel because i don't know if she want all her business out there like that but she dm me and she only have four teeth and the rest is partial she said hers was hereditary as well her teeth was rotten and she has such a pretty smile i swear i would not have thought twice that she had partials in her mouth after i read what i read i'm like wait this is not such and such i had to click on her profile picture to make sure it was who i thought it was but shout out to you girl you know who you are you just made my whole night and shout out to tatiana she texted me early this morning sending prayers my way and it's a lot of you guys who have dm me i just haven't went through all of the messages but shout out to you guys as well you know who you are and my girl naya texted me yesterday like sis what time is your appointment tomorrow because i want to text you before you go in i just love y'all a lot of you guys were like did you, you did you get a second opinion maybe you need a second opinion you sure you got to get dentures girl i'm sure like i said a dentist told me that about eight years ago and just by me doing research over the years I knew that actually this dentist that I'm going to now is my second opinion. I did go to the dentist back in November and I wasn't feeling a vibe at all. I don't know, just something off. He checked my mouth and everything like, okay, yeah, you're gonna need dentures. He like, okay, you can get two implants at the bottom, but you can't get any implants at the top and you're not going to be able to get immediate dentures. You're going to have to go around here, bald mouth, basically. He didn't say that. He said I was going to have to walk around with no teeth in my mouth for six to eight weeks until my gums heal. Who? Now, get this. The price just for the implants, the dentures, and the extractions, and what else? Probably nothing else, because don't seem like he wanted to do nothing else. That total came up to 14,000 and I don't know, it was close to 15,000. So I went to go pay, I had to pay like $65 for the whole exam and all of that stuff. So when I get up there to go pay, they like, well, so when I get up there to go pay, they like, um, so when you want to schedule an appointment, I'm like, I don't know because I'm going on a cruise. You know, this was, like I said, in November before me and Cleveland was set to go on our anniversary cruise in December. I'm like, I don't want to be on my anniversary cruise bald mouth. She was like, well, if you schedule it before November 30th, I think it was like November 12th when I went in, we'll give you $4,000 off. That sound really good, but I still wasn't trying to go on my anniversary. And y'all know I love a good deal, a good sale, percent off, whatever. And $4,000 off? I was like, nah. So when I got home, I started thinking like, 
I need to find another dentist because I need to get a second opinion. Not a second opinion as far as I need dentures. Like I said, I know that was set in stone, but I need to see like what other options is for me as far as the dentures, like as far as the implants and me, me being able to get immediate dentures right after I get my teeth extracted. Fast forward to about the end of December, I made an appointment at where I'm going to now, which is Affordable Dentures and Implants, which I didn't know nothing about until I watched this one YouTube video and I seen, well I watched a couple YouTube videos and under the comments people were saying, well I went to Affordable Dentures and Implants and they're very good, they're affordable, and all this stuff. So I'm like, let me look up to see if there's one here in Florida near me. Show sure enough, there's one about 25 minutes from me. Made an appointment, so y'all already seen that vlog. I'll link it here if you haven't. And some of y'all was like, you can't get braces? Like, no girl, I cannot get braces. Braces is not gonna help this. I suffer from bone loss. The bone that's holding my teeth in its pocket or together, <laughs> is deteriorating. Therefore, that's why my teeth is shifted. I know y'all seen the infamous long tooth. So that's why that one, I think my gums are shrinking away from my tooth, my teeth because of the bone loss. These bones would just not let me be great. And the longer I wait to get this done, it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna get worse. My teeth is just probably just gonna start falling out. No, I do have loose teeth. I do have some loose teeth in the back. Um, this long tooth is loose. It's no point of putting braces on loose teeth and the bone is just gonna constantly be deteriorating. Come get y'all niece, y'all cousin. At this point, I don't care who come get her. Five minutes later, a friend of mine sent me this. Like, <laughs> y'all ain't, you know what. So I'm taking my first dose of medicine, which is this right here. So I'm gonna take two of these right now. The rest of them I don't have to take until one hour before surgery. Well, two of them I gotta take one hour before surgery. And this one I have to take 45 minutes before surgery. Now, I haven't took any kind of strong medicine or any kind of medicine, probably been like 10 years, you know, and that's when I had Naya. So this is gonna be uh, something different. All right, so let me take these two real quick. Uh-oh. So, oh, these are cute. They nice and little and they like mint green. All right, so I just got finished getting ready. I'm not even gonna do nothing to my hair. I'm not gonna put no earrings in or nothing. Alexa, stop. So I set an alarm with Alexa for 12.30. So I have to take four of these, which is antibiotics. And how do I take this? Yeah, Cleveland marked them for me the time. We marked, y'all can't see, but. So I got my water. So I popped my contacts in because they told me to take off my glasses a couple times while I was at the dentist. So I just put on my contacts to keep from keep taking off my glasses. This girl can't see nothing. So let's take four of these, which is the antibiotics. And then one ibuprofen. These mugs big. So we are on our way, Cleveland, back there getting gas. But um, I got a slight headache. I feel a little dizzy and like weird. I'm gonna try to have Cleveland vlog as much as possible. We'll see how that goes, cause you know, he's not no vlogger, so he might forget or you know, whatever. So how do you feel right now? So this is before the peel. I mean, this is before the actual stuff. She had to take that peel. She's a little, a little high. <laughs> you good? <laughs> This one is saying, so it's one say more left. Huh? Yeah, but you don't have to take it if, if you don't want to get super out. If you don't like it, if you don't like the way it feel now, you ain't gonna like that second one gonna be a doozy. I'd rather feel like I'd rather feel like this than like 
pain and stuff. Like, I don't want to feel nothing. They only have Let's go outside and race. See who can run the fastest. Everything looks slow. Yeah, welcome to being high. That's what we. <laughs> people who do drugs, that's an everyday thing. It's slow motion. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you would like that feeling though. That, I hate that feeling. It's terrible. See, you know, when I look over, like, it's, it's lagging a little bit. Yeah, it's lagging, yeah. like on the game. <laughs> right, you, your <laughs> FPS then went down far. Your frames per second low. <laughs> Old school. Right, so she's in the dentist. Uh, it's kind of dark. Wait, oh snap. All right, so she in the dentist right now. I'm about to go home and party. Woo! Sorry, now I'm about to go get the get the kids from the bus stop. Make sure all that stuff goes smooth. Then I'm gonna probably ride back up here and check on her and make sure everything's good. I don't know if she's gonna be able to text and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. I'm gonna leave her alone. Hopefully everything goes smooth. But she don't really like taking medication because. We don't do drugs or nothing like that, so it feels, you know, weird. We the only pills that we take is like Advil if you got like a little headache, and that's rare, you know. So I remember one time when I was younger, I had to get an endoscopy. Man, that was the worst thing ever. They gave me uh, I don't know what type of medication, but they put you to sleep basically. And um, man, after that, that they somebody had to drive me home. Obviously, I don't even remember. It's like I was having a dream of them stuffing that camera down my throat. And I remember like gagging and coughing real bad, but I don't, it seemed just like a dream. I don't remember it, but I do remember it. And then when I, I don't remember getting driven home. I don't remember getting into the car. All I remember is falling through the doorway of our apartment at the time and then waking up in the bed. So I don't know what happened so if she feel like that that suck because you just don't know what's going on so oops, somebody behind me so yeah that's that's not good but it's better than hurting though you know what i mean so that pain don't be no joke when I, I got a tooth pulled also when i was younger and the dentist he didn't care it's like he was mad at me or something because i had a I had a bad cavity in one of my teeth. He was like mad or something. Like he was taking it out on me. He was like, how old are you? I was like, I don't know, 14, 15. I was a kid. He was like, why you got a cavity already? And this, that, and I was like, ah, candy probably. I don't know. And then uh, he did it, but it's, it hurt it. Like he didn't, I don't think he'd use the, he didn't do the uh, pain, inject the pain uh, medication right or something. Cause I felt everything, bro. That job was terrible. So. And then I've, I've, it was a bad experience for me, but I think she'd be good to go with this one. So hopefully after this is all done, she'll be able to, uh, you know, talk. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how she feels or how high she is. Cause she got to take another one. Well, she don't have to, but she has an option to take another one. So we'll see if she actually takes another one, but I guess I'll see y'all later when uh when she gets done all right so i have no idea what's going on i just picked the kids up from the bus stop so it's been like i don't know about an hour and a half since i spoke or anything so i haven't uh, been back up there yet but i'm on my way so when i get up there i guess i'm gonna go in the back or ask them can i come in the back and see what's going on like what what progress have they made hopefully they're they're done but i figured she would have called me though if they were done they would have called me but so i'm on my way back it's empty in here looks like she's the only one here so i just had the uh receptionist check on her real quick to see where they are in the process so hopefully they're almost done it's been at least uh what? hour and a half a little over an hour and a half about two hours i think so sounds like she's getting an x-ray or something so it sounds like to me the teeth would be all, all the way out right why would you be getting another x-ray in between so i don't know 
Yeah. Just wait and see what's going on. Hopefully there wasn't any complications and everything was smooth. So she's done with the extraction part. They're just doing some um, final fittings for the impressions and everything. I guess the temporaries. So she said that's kind of a tedious process to make sure that it fits properly. So I, I thought she was still getting pulled, but I, I guess she's done with that part. So that's why they need to do more x-rays. So she told me about another hour or 45 minutes to an hour. So uh, I'm gonna probably go, <laughs> I'm about to go get something to eat because I mean, I don't wanna be like, go get something when she first get out. Like she can't eat nothing. So I don't wanna be sitting over here smacking on some tasty food and she over there with her mouth all messed up. So. I'm about to uh, go find something around here and then uh, come back. So it should take me about 20 minutes or so. I'm still waiting on her, but this Walmart is like literally across the parking lot. <clears throat> something happened here. I don't know what, but it's a whole bunch of police officers and it's like eight police cars. So I don't know what happened, but I'm about to ask this dude who work here. That guy right there, if I can catch him. Hey, you. Hey, excuse me. Hey, my man, what happened in there? You don't know? He say he don't know, whatever. But something obviously happened. Oh wait, they got somebody. Oh no, they ain't got nobody. It's just a bunch of cops talking. I thought they had somebody standing over there. We're always at Walmart. It's always something going down at a Walmart. I should have asked the cops, like, yeah, what happened? <laughs> Trying to be dozy. I always want to know what's, what's going on in the area I'm around. All right, well, she's out. I didn't want to film, like, her coming out because she was in some pain and stuff like that, like she is right now. And, you know, that medication is messing with you and stuff like that. So she got a headache and whatever. So, and you know, it, it makes her feel a little emotional because she don't take medicine. So it makes her feel weird. But we're home now. I think it went well. So she just, you sleepy? Uh -huh. Yeah, the time was about, I would say around five and a half hours because one thirty to seven, what time is it? So I don't even know what time it is. It's seven. Yeah, it's seven. So I mean, do the math, like around five and a half hours basically. So, I mean, that's not long, but it is long, so. I had to keep leaving, coming back, you know, just, I just didn't want to sit in there because I was the only one in there. Nobody was there, so. Um, what else? Hmm? Oh yeah, she wanted me back there, but I couldn't go back there, so. And I was getting anxious because it was taking so long. I wanted to at least see her to see how she was doing. Like I didn't know what, what you know, how she was doing. So, so I just kept asking them like, well, what are they doing now? Or like, you know, what are, what's going on now? So, but she has to go back tomorrow at 2.30 for a follow-up appointment. And then I get to do whatever else. I think shave down these temporaries and cause her gums, everything's swollen right now. So they're gonna have to keep readjusting it here and there until she get the permanent ones. And then um, what else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gave her some gauze and like a little tray thing and some weird looking toothbrush thing. But she'll, um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, she got to basically keep gauze in her mouth all night. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, and them teeth, them, the, the temporaries. So she can't really eat. She just drank some water to take a pain pill, but. She want a hug Did from Yana, laugh? but... Huh? Did she laugh? No, nah, she don't need to laugh. <laughs> no. Because if, if I wanted to make her laugh, I mean, why would I want to make her laugh? She, she feel bad. Yeah, she need to go to sleep, so... She need, to, need to get some rest or something. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what she's going to be able to eat. They just said all soft foods and then work your way up to like solid foods, but I mean, probably don't even have an appetite. So I don't know. Yeah, she don't have no appetite. So I guess whenever she does. Oh, it's blurry. Say that over again. 
she doesn't have an appetite anyway. So, but I guess when she does, she'll have to eat like soft foods and stuff like that. So I'll just be taking care of her for the next couple of days or weeks. I don't know how long before she get back to normal, but um, I just got to run to CVS or Walgreens or something to pick up some of the stuff that she's going to need throughout the day or throughout this week. So hopefully she, this will pass soon and she'll feel better. But you know, anytime you got to do stuff like this, it's tragic. So the pain, I don't even think the pain kicked in yet because after, you know, that junk started getting trill. So <laughs> yeah, there ain't no going back now. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. What? Oh, you talking about you need more of these? Mm-hmm. Just text it to me. I can't understand what you're saying. Alright, my arm hurts. Mm-hmm. <laughs>